Hey, what's up guys? JakeMTG here, and I'm bringing you a video about the questions I asked. Um, basically, just one question I asked on our Instagram. Um, and I basically asked, hey, what do you think is the reason for all the bannings that from three years we have so many compared to between 2006 and 2016? We only had two cards that were banned. So let's go through and see what you guys said. All right, so... Um, this person said Wiz Wizard of the Coast keeps trying to push forward with more cool stuff and people have gotten better at exploiting those strats. Um, yeah, I can see that, especially with all the um, new, um, you know, especially with Arena. You know, we, we were playing so many more games and testing so many different strategies where uh, we, when, you know, back in paper, um, people really didn't see that, even with MTGO. It, it wasn't that popular to play, you know, standard on that. Uh, on that program because it was kind of slow, it was kind of clunky, it didn't seem, um, you know, attractive to new players to play that client, so they made Arena. And now everyone who, you know, usually plays just standard and not, you know, online is starting to play Arena because they can technically play it for free if they, you know, grind out the cards that they want. Um, but yeah, I can definitely see, you know, uh, people are starting to play a lot more, people are getting better, and are starting to get more creative with their deck ideas. All right, so they're trying to, to up the power level. That's the reason. Kind of wish they didn't do that. Um, I enjoyed the guilds of Ravnica Standard and had low power level. Um, yeah, I mean, I agree with you. Um, you know, Ravnica Standard was really, really fun. Um, I loved playing, you know, Blood Rush uh, with, you know, Rampager and then playing, you know, Hill Rider with that deck. I think the Kibler made that with, it was just so much fun. I, I definitely agree with you um, where it wasn't that powerful. And I still had, you know, it was one of my most memorable, you know, standard sets that I actually played myself. All right, maybe they make really high level cards for people to get interested in the power. Um, I mean, I, I guess I can see that too because they want to be more attractive to you know, new players. Like, oh, I can do this really quickly. But like, maybe it comes detrimental to a point where if we have too many cards doing that, it's just going to be too chaotic. And it's just, it's going to get, you know, out of control. Like with Oko, like, you know, like the, the plus two ability should have been like maybe a minus one. Um, I mean, the, the plus one, my bad, where you can make an elk into instead of you know having their creature or whatever permanent was um that should have been like a minus not a plus one you know that's my opinion on that matter and then they buy tons and tons of product but then ban it because of said power i mean yeah true <laughs> i mean i i can't even count how many times i've i've played you know standard like i love playing fildegar guardian combo but i knew i knew that was going to be banned but i still bought into it it was expensive deck uh especially with all the different colors that you had to play for the mana base and it just <laughs> kind of destroyed me in that part but hey i mean it is what it is creative and developer team um maybe i don't see that's like a difficult question too is because like they should hire maybe more people that um, are more creative in a way for um, for playing decks, like building decks. Like you can have like a good creative making like type of cards, but then you need to have a different mindset of people who can brew decks that you know are outside the top of, of normal players that are just you know trying to play the best cards and just look at it that way. Um, but then you get the brewers where they kind of you know wedge themselves into that and try to beat those best decks where they just find broken uh, combos so you know that's my opinion on that but also to do a standard getting solved faster like i said um you know mtg arena a lot more games are being played a lot more people are playing it and so it's just you know you know people are going to get any more angry like you know to fairy a lot of people did not like that card because everyone was playing it and it was kind of annoying like we couldn't play counter magic anymore especially with you know just not playing spells on our opponent's turn because of that card I think it's partly to do with players wanting more powerful cards and play design mistakes. Um, I can see maybe, well, I, I don't see people wanting more powerful cards in standard, but I can see that maybe in other sets, like how they did with, um, you know, with the, the master sets for uh, just for modern and forward that they made for uh, that type of set. But standard, 
I don't know. I don't think people are asking for more powerful cards because that would just ruin the meta. Poor set design. No comment on that. Power level plus, being able to collect more data. Yep, exactly. I agree with you. Was that the kills keep trying to push forward with more cool stuff and people have gotten better at exploiting strats? Yes, <laughs> definitely. Like I said, more games are being played. Due to design philosophies that end up making the game worse. Um, I really don't... I, I don't see maybe the new philosophies. I think they're still sticking with the same thing. Um, I mean, if you want to comment what you think their new philosophies are, uh, let me know because I, re I really don't see that. So yeah, let me know in the comments. The increment of card power level in the absence of deep testing for the release. Um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, we did see that in Oko, which was a bummer because I loved playing that card, but it was just so not worth the <laughs> the issues that card made, uh, especially in Standard. That, that card, if you're not playing that card, you're not really going to be winning, unfortunately. Oh, okay, fire in the butt. I, I don't know what that means. Um, do you believe... Wizard of the Coast is just denying they are not properly balancing the recent expansions. I responded to this when I said, I think they need to do more testing before they're releasing it. Um, basically, they need to get more play people playing it. Um, I, I know they can't have like, you know, people that are known for brewing decks to play it because um, they're actually playing Magic and playing at tournaments and stuff like that. And if you do go behind the scenes, I pr I'm pretty sure you can't do that. So... Um, I, it's just all internal. They have to get better people testing, I guess. Sales, power creep, non-extensive testing, the internet age of MTG. Exactly. I mean, that's what it is. Reddit started to become really popular in 2013. Voices were heard more, <laughs> and definitely they are being heard. There's a lot of, a lot of whiners on uh, on Reddit. You know, that's just my opinion on things. Which just has a little touch with reality. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's like they're, it's like both. I mean, they, they kind of know what's going on, but then again, they're kind of ignoring the problem. Like, it's kind of like putting things underneath the regular but like not banning the card that need to be banned right away but like banning a card that is next to it and nothing really went through it like what can i think of um i don't know like refractor mage I, that card was like i don't i didn't see that big as you know as big as a problem but i don't know that's just me um no one seemed to mention this but i think it's because they are less afraid to admit they messed up in making a banning, the power level is cl clearly a bit higher, but um, there were moments in the past such as there was a banning that didn't get one. Okay, yeah, I agree with that. I definitely agree with that. Where's the coast hires washed pros <laughs> who don't understand the game they design? I I'm pretty sure they know what they're doing if they <laughs> were playing pretty well. Paradigm change from New World Order to Fire. Fire is good, but stability, NWO, I have no idea what this means. <laughs> um, let's go back this way. Uh, power creep is also the reason I understand it. No creep, no sales, but these creepers shouldn't exist. Um, I mean, I believe it's like maybe like a really, really slow creep. I, ha I mean, I haven't really seen anything that's been over the top recently. Uh, if you guys seen anything, leave a comment what you think it is. But for me personally, I haven't seen anything that was kind of a big issue besides Oko. Um, I mean, maybe Fires of Invention, but I being like, I don't know. I like that card. <laughs> uh, the Dirty Money. I mean, you got to have the money to make the uh, <laughs> make the cards, right? Um, improving the gameplay also means improving the power level, but I like that to be fair. It is fun too. How to improve decks, mana curves, and strategies to be fun for beginner, but also be competitive for pro play. 
Um, yeah, I mean, that's why they have those beginner decks that people are, can buy, like, you know, or, or those colored themed boosters or whatever you buy. Um, I mean, those are for beginners, but like, I, I'm glad with the new uh, with Zendikar, they're going to have different packs. Like, they have like the draftable packs, but now they also have the packs where you can open up the stuff that you actually need. Um, I feel like that's a brilliant idea what they're doing. Um, but I don't think they should um, be charging a whole another dollar or two dollars more for that type of pack, though. But hey, that's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Um, eternal testing is nowhere near the creativity of professionals. Um, I mean, I somewhat agree with this too. Like, there's a lot of brewers out there, a lot, of, a lot of brewers out there, and uh, it's it's fun. Uh, I mean, we, they just have to maybe get some insight on some things. Um, but besides that, um, yeah, that's just what I am thinking on that. Power creep is real, my guy. I totally agree with you, but not as fast as what people are saying. Not enough testing by qualified people, just pushing cards out to make money. All the money signs. Um, yeah, I mean, they, they should be testing a little bit more, especially if they're going to be building cards with certain texts that are just out of, you know, just crazy. But who knows? We'll see what happens, huh? And lastly, because why not? <laughs> I don't know. That that's, that's perfectly, you know, and, you know, question because why not? I have no idea. I have no idea why this is happening. How many cards have been banned in the past three years compared to the 2006, 2016, where only two got banned? So, but yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, what is going on <laughs> with the current standard and historic? Um, what do you guys think about these recent bannings? You know. Um, like in standard, we had wilderness reclamation ban, we had gross spiral ban, we had to fairy ban, we had cauldron familiar ban, just random, just out of the blue. Um, well, I'm, I'm glad they like. I'm glad they didn't give a week notice of what they're doing. Uh, I feel like that's a big plus, where we didn't have to wait because right now, especially with this pandemic, where people aren't playing in person, um, where you know there isn't really a paper play at the moment. I feel like we can do instant bans like this because it's all online and they're going to be refunding your i guess your cards but i mean that's not like a good excuse either but i mean i, f I feel like that should have been banned especially with pioneer pioneer was dying it was dead <laughs> dead to me anyway and i really like that but then you know they weren't doing anything with inventor of truth um or with the underground underworld breach so finally they got rid of those just just cancerous decks they had in Pioneer. With Historic, they banned, you know, Wilderness Reclamation and Teferi Time Reveler. And then Brawl, again, another Teferi, just like Oko was banned in all these different formats. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, thanks for, uh, you know, you respond to that question.